Well, now we're at month six, and this is a really exciting part because you get to see how the quilt starts coming together. You'll also appreciate more how masterful I think the pattern writer uh, Elaine was when she figured out how to take my design and <laughs> put it all together into something that was a lot easier. This month, we have a special type of technique that I haven't done that often, but it is just perfect for this kind of a quilt um, because it eliminates a lot of inset seams and you can have all the straight lines sewing. So we're going to start with a center block. Now remember that center block is the one that has a different color background than all the other compass blocks. And you're going to take these pieces that we did earlier. We're going to start building on them. Now here you see the importance of having the dots marked on this mini stripe fabric. I remember I told you to be sure to mark those hole with a hole punch all those dots and put them on there because that dot has to go right exactly to this point because there's nothing to sew this to. It's just kind of flapping out there in the breeze. So you want to pin it very carefully at the dot and the point of the star and down here at the two dots and then just sew you don't even have to sew all the way to this. We don't want to really sew that way. We're going to just sew part way across about to where my finger is. It doesn't matter exactly where in here you stop, start because this is going to be our partial seam for later. Then once you sew that on there, we put the next piece and now it's just all one long straight line like that. You just sew that on there and remember you'll be sewing from the striped side so that you have that line to sew on. We get another one in here. This is just uh, one whole big long straight line. Here we have another big long straight line and another. Just keep sewing those pieces on there like that. And the final one is going to go in here. Now you will Flip this back when you get ready to sew that final one on. Just sew it right to there. Now I've got it all sewn together which is going to make it easier for you. So give me just a minute to get that up there. I'll be right back. So here now I've got all the pieces sewn together in this block. And this was the last piece that was put on. We flipped that aside. Remember that was the part that was kind of flapping in the breeze and didn't have anywhere to be sewn onto. And we stopped, or when we started that, we just started part way. So now to finish that seam, we just take this part and go down like this, pull this straight across, pin it, and sew it in place. And now you've got that completed. I, I'm not going to take your time right now, but then you'll have the completed piece all with just the straight line sewing, which makes it super easy. In the previous step, I showed you how you took the center block and put all those pieces around it. The next step is to sew an E and a D piece together. So we've got this one goes here. I just want to point out that you want the straight grain of the fabric. Remember, these are pieces that we cut, but some of them are directional. Want this to go here because it's going to form at the outside of the unit that we're working with. And once you've got those done, now I'm going to grab one of these that I've already sewn together, and that is going to go here. So there's the next D piece added. All this again is straight line sewing. This is all going to be part of another partial seam in the next lesson that we have, but we're going to start it here. And here again is why it was so important on these C pieces to mark where the dot was. Because what we're going to do, we're going to just start sewing right here where the dot is, mark the dots up to each other. You're going to sew down here, pivot at an inset seam. So this is the first inset seam we've had in a while. You just do, be sure to match the design. That's why it was so important for you to cut these out properly. These are all set and ready to go for next month's lesson when we get more of the whole piece put together. So have fun and watch it grow. It's really fun to see how they all come together and how all those compass blocks look different. So enjoy.